Allegra. Thank you for joining me for coffee. It is dreary and wet out, so I will be in again. Good morning. It's Barbara. I guess I already said that, right? It is morning, finally. Thank you for joining me for coffee. This is my second cup. As predicted yesterday, I have nothing really to talk about what I did yesterday because I knew it wasn't going to be much. I wasn't feeling great. I'm still croaky. <clears throat> I slept better last night, though. Got something going on just right here. I think I might take a COVID test. Oh, gosh. If I have COVID, I'm going to feel so bad. I guess I was just with Genevieve and Marianne and Bob. Sitting in the sheep bar. Anyway. But I did mispredict dinner. We did not have bacon and eggs. We had lasagna from the freezer. And Dennis made a Caesar salad. He had pasteurized some eggs and wanted to make Caesar dressing. So Caesar dressing is made with a raw egg. So he pasteurized, pasteurizes eggs, which leave them raw but disease-free, for sure. So anyway, New Jersey Sheep and Wool, part two. Well, I did, I did not work on my sweater. Back up, not New Jersey Sheep and Wool yet. <clears throat> I did not work on my sweater last night. I've still been thinking about what to do with that pocket because I had thought about um, putting the gold ribbing around the edges of the pocket because I have it around the sleeves. I'm going to have it around the hood and I'm going to have it around the bottom. So I'm going to want to do that before I patch it on, I think. <clears throat> and then it occurred to me this morning that I could just bind off the bottom and, you know, just patch both the top and the bottom when I say patch, I mean sew. Sew the top and the bottom to the sweater to put the pocket on. And then I don't have to think about how I'm going to, you know, knit two together, two strands, you know, along the bottom and whatever. I think it would be fine. I did get a good suggestion of, you know, sewing it on the inside and then putting the pocket down, which would work really well and then I would probably want to <clears throat> incorporate the bottom into the ribbing. So I'm still thinking about it as you can see. But I did wind, hand wind the yarn for my friend Kim's hat last night. So I was cuddling some delicious yarn last night. But other than that, that's all I did. So, New Jersey sheep and wool. I showed you some pictures of sheep. I actually have other pictures of sheep, but they must be part of another hunk of video because I didn't see them when I um, was putting yesterday's show together. <clears throat> Vlog. So anyway, you might see a few more sheep here. <laughs> The winner, it had puffy, puffy leg, bottom of his legs, like, uh, <laughs> um, Genevieve said her schnauzer gets his cut like that so that he has fluffy feet, <laughs> like the sheep did. It was pretty funny. Anyway, so I am going to show you my haul and then show you the video. And I might get very fancy because I might put a little clip from one of the first booths I saw. It was very early where I came upon my first purchase. So I think I will do that here. I'm not, that's very fancy because I'm going to cut this clip, cut, cut a little clip of some of it and put it right here. And then, I mean, oh my gosh, you're not even going to recognize this blog. 
Oh. Talking to my phone. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. A lot of people have been taking photographs of tags and patterns you're interested in. Yep. So I have a blog, so you're going to be on my blog. Oh, excellent. Ellen Cooper Yarn Sonnets. Create your own sonnet. Hand dyed yard. Sprague, Sprague Connecticut. Beautiful. Beautiful. Lots of shawls. Very inspiring. Here's some rug stuff. Feels like I should know how to make a rug, you know, when the apocalypse comes. We're going to want rugs. Ooh, look at this. How interesting. <laughs> oh, and it's knit sideways on the body so that you get all that effect. Is this your design? Yes. It is gorgeous. Thank you. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I love, love the effect. Really beautiful. Do you have a pattern for that? Yes, I do. Oh, I'm not surprised. What do you call it? I call it Water World. Water World. Oh, Water and World you have a kit. Yeah, I have a kit. Or I personally kit them up for them, too. Oh, uh-huh. Water World. Is it on Ravelry? No. No? No. So if I want that pattern, I have to buy it from you. Yes, you do. How much is it? It's 12. Cause it's, a, it's like nine pages long. I got a lot of photos of how the different steps you take. Okay. I guess I need your pattern. Okay. I'll go get it. <laughs> I mean, you know, I have to. Look at it. How beautiful is that? It's a tunic. Although, I think you could do it really easily as a cardigan. It would be a gorgeous cardigan like a long oh it's a little bit back oh there we go a little bit backlit gorgeous <clears throat> okay so I bought the pattern she calls it I forget what she calls it it's in a plastic but so you make a normal Oh, it's got a high collar. You make a normal, I didn't even notice that, um, neckline and yoke and normal sleeves, but you knit the body of the pattern of the sweater this way, which is how you get those vertical stripes. But those vertical stripes, and it's hard to tell, and maybe you could see in the video, because I'm not sure, I haven't watched the video of the textures of this sweater. She does not have it digitally, she said, because when she made this pattern, her system crashed. It's called Water World Sweater, Ellen Cooper's Yarn Sonnets pattern. And she says it is not on Ravelry. It's got a lot of pages, but it's one-sided and um, lots of spacing, which should make it pretty easy. But I'm trying to see if she has her information. She doesn't have any information on here. I'm pretty sure I took a... I think Yarn Sonnets is the name of her company. Ellen Cooper's Yarn Sonnets. Anyway, you can see it better out of the plastic. It's got all kinds of interesting yarns that make very interesting textures. And one of the most important yarns in this for the textures is this yarn, which I bought. She calls it potluck. Oh, here. 
She's in Sprague, Connecticut. I will put her information to her website and stuff um, <clears throat> down below. Isn't that gorgeous? So this is wacky, wacky, wacky yarn. This is only 150 yards. This, the sweater is worsted. This is what this yarn looks like. <coughs> yeah, right here on copy. Is she puts together multiple strands. This side only has two. She ties it in a knot that ends up with a tassel. And then she attaches it to another strand. And I don't know how long they are because I haven't undone this. I just found this end. So she attaches it with a big knot like that and then goes on to the next one and this one has four strands one of which has these little um ribbony things oh two of them do the blue one and the purple and this is how she makes this yarn so you can see it's got a lot going on apparently cop uh talking makes me need to cough so anyway i bought this it was 50 over 55 dollars 56 dollars for a 150 yards so needless to say the whole sweater is not made out of this but i think it has like five i think she said five four or five different yarns i guess i'm doing something in the purple don't you think? But I just couldn't resist. It was, you know, the pattern was $12 and the yarn was $56. So there goes all the, more than the money Dennis gave me. I took all his cash because I'm like, oh, I didn't go to the machine. So I took his cash, but it turns out I had some too. I spent every penny I had on me. Literally, <clears throat> not literally, I did have a few cents. But the last thing I bought took my last dollar bill which made it very convenient to stop. Anyway, so this is one of the wacky, I bought two yarns, this was one. They were both kind of wacky. And am I gonna make that sweater? Who the heck knows? Here's one strand, is just like a, like a green ribbon, like a dark teal green. It's a little greener than that is showing. Um, I don't think how I tri I sat down with my light on and it I looked washed out and it didn't look good so I don't have my light on this is natural light from beside me but this is pretty close I mean come on right <laughs> so crazy purchase number one Marianne came upon me as I was buying this and she laughed and said oh that can go be right next to your penguano true story it will it could go right next to my penguano. Wouldn't a penguano made out of this be so amazing? But you know, I have some kind of wacky novelty yarns that I bought when I first, the like the first time I went into a yarn shop because I was looking for yarns to incorporate into my jewelry. So wacky novelty yarns are kind of perfect for that. I still have them because I didn't make them into my jewelry. Then I decided I wanted to be a knitter. <laughs> anyway, I'm kind of in love with this yarn. Um, <clears throat> Marianne thought Knit Collage did something like that. And I think I have some Knit Collage that I got as part of my yarn box at one point. And now that I think about it, I mean, it wasn't wacky like this, but it wasn't normal either, <laughs> if you know what I mean. And if I were going to try to do something similar to this as a project to create my own yarn out of wacky yarn, I have wacky yarn. I might think about that. I am not going to show you some of the things I bought because I bought some minis that will go in Megan's advent because one of the problems with having no mojo 
is that you don't have little balls of leftovers to send in an advent to your friend at Christmas time. So, and I've already been sending her duplicates. <laughs> I know I have, and she doesn't seem to mind. She's very lovely. Um, but I thought I would. So I bought some minis. So she gets some, at least some fresh yarn. <laughs> of course, I am not above taking a skein of sock yarn and pulling off 10 grams from it. Because... If I'm going to, you know, whatever I'm going to do with it, I can do with 90 grams, you know, rather than 100. It would still work. I'm quite sure I'm going to be doing some of that, too. Sorry about the wiggling. <clears throat> so the other wacky yarn idea I had and wacky yarn I bought <clears throat> is from Created For You by Laura. Yarns hand dyed in Ohio and Florida. Created for you by Laura. All one giant word, and the four is the number, and the U is the letter. Created for you by Laura. And this is Splashy Stash Fingering Sock Weight. 50% alpaca, 25% silk, and 25% linen. Three ply, hand wash, dry flat. <clears throat> Three, 438 yards and I was just so taken with this that I bought it and in my mind I thought oh I'll make a muscle burra hat <clears throat> and when I said that when I said that to Marianne she says oh well it's a beautiful color <laughs> she didn't say Barb are you crazy you're gonna make a hat out of alpaca silk and linen which is what I said to myself on the way home, like, are you crazy? You can't make a hat out of alpaca, silk, and linen. That will never, ever, ever work. Now, actually, I think that's probably not true because I could make a muscle burrow because the thing about a muscle burrow is... You know, you're making... It's two... It's, it's double thickness. So one's, you know, and which makes it reversible. So you could do one side out of this yarn that has zero give and probably won't go back into shape. If the other <clears throat> side, if like the, the inside is, uh, you know, a no more normal yarn. But anyway, I just fell in love with these colors. It's probably incredibly drapey. And it's screaming to be a cow or a shawlette. It's not screaming to be a hat. That's ridiculous. <clears throat> Marianne was very kind not to say that's ridiculous. She just said that's beautiful. And she's right. It is. So these are my two ridiculous yarns I bought. <laughs> that I really love really love and there's sitting I'm sitting here smiling 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 now this <clears throat> the last thing I bought is I bought it for Megan and the only reason I'm showing it is because on my way home it occurred to me that she I might have already given her this so Megan have you had this before so, um, A Great Day for a Cupcake is the name of the company that I bought this from. And they're, they've been at Sheep and Wool for a long time. And I have some of their yarn. And I have bought their stitch markers. And I got the set of stitch markers that are called Safari. Is that the cutest little thing you've ever seen? Needless to say, that's the elephant. And that's the giraffe. Can you see his little eyes? I guess it's not focusing great. There you go. <laughs> mm. 
That's the lion. Doesn't look very fierce, does he? <laughs> The hippo, I'm showing you his butt, apparently. The hippo. And the monkey. I think. Unless the safari is in Australia, and then it's a brown koala bear. Oh, nope. Can you see the curly tail? It's a monkey. <clears throat> anyway. I thought these were adorable. I bought them, and on the way home, I'm like, you know, this is exactly what I had before, and I can't find mine, and I would not be shocked if I already sent them to Megan. So, Megan, if you've gotten these before, let me know. If you haven't gotten these before, then guess what? One of your presents is going to be this, and you've already found out. <laughs> so, one day won't be a surprise. I'm sorry. But it will be adorable. So, <clears throat> anyway, so I've been talking for a very long time, and I haven't put any of, well, I've only put one piece of video in. So I'm going to let you see the rest of what I recorded. It's going to be a long one. You can skip fast forward. Um, I do do, every time I do videos, you know, like out in the world, I always talk. So I don't do like the music overlay that um, some people do. So you're going to hear me talk. It's going to be crowdy, you know, whatever. But anyway, I'm going to go. So there, here you go. New Jersey sheep them all. Please take good care of yourselves. Please, please stay safe and stay sane. I'm going into the barn with the exhibit. So I put my mask on because you can see the, uh, while there is open space, it's much clo more closed. So I will be wearing my mask. Toby Roxanne Designs. And look at these beautiful flowers. If you want flowers, here's some bags. And here's some pictures. I am thinking about getting ready to fly my yarn I spun during There's some beautiful things. Oh, buttons. I do love me some fancy buttons. Okay. Hmm. I think I need to put my glasses on. Oh my I'll be back. Oh. Talking to my phone. Oh, okay, yeah. A lot of people have been taking photographs. <laughs> so this is the booth next to Ellen's booth. And then it has these tin cans, which are gorgeous. And you can... And they have kits in these cans. Aren't they cute? So... The Valerie said, come and be inspired. So we shall see. I was inspired to buy something, so that works. This is a Vermont sh shop. Go ahead. <laughs> These are all fabulous hats. They're reversible, and they're made. You start at one end, and you get all the way Berry to the other Meadows end. Farm. So are these mosaic, these? No, it's knitted. It's not mosaic crochet, if that's what you're asking. No, I was asking mosaic knitting. It's a slip stitch. It's a, yes. yes, it's slip stitch. Yeah. So it's mosaic. I guess. In knitting. I, I never thought of it that way. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's a cute little shawlette or poncho thing. I like that. Oh, and look, it's just a little loop on the bottom to make a little, a little uh, fringe. Very cute. Very cute. 
This is the Kate May Fiber Company. Kate May is, of course, in New Jersey. This is the Sheep and Wool Show of New Jersey, so that seems fair. Super bulky. And these are all Vanessa Ewing patterns, so my guess is Vanessa Ewing might be have something to do with Cape May fibers. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Okay, I had to show you this. It's a little backlit. Let me go inside. These are bird houses that she makes. She did these felted. I asked her what kind of bird she thought, maybe wrens. These are backlit so you can't really see them very well. Aren't these the coolest looking things? Oh my gosh, and this one I think is adorable. It looks like a starfish. Anyway, oh, and she does little things to make your boots fancy. Well, I was just really, really intrigued by this. And this is all locks. Isn't that cool? Anyway, uh, I'll try to find a card. Creative Sheepskins, it's called. There you go. All right. I have literally spent all my money. And I'm ready to go home. It was such a lovely visit with Marianne and Genevieve and Bob. And I got a bag full of stuff. So I will talk about that later. Uh, she won the class, so she'll go back in then. Okay. Uh, this, this girl is mad that she's not already grand champion. She just won her class. She misses her friend. But, but we were very distressed to hear the announcer say, she's got a great carcass. It feels like that's not a word that should be used with a live animal.